hi everyone welcome to day one of vlogtober i'm not gonna lie i've just had to refilm that because i said hi everyone welcome to the first episode of vlogmas so we're a little premature with that but i am so excited to be starting this i'm not gonna lie when we were away on holiday it's all i could think about and when we landed in england this is gonna make me sound so bizarre but when we landed in england and it was gray and rainy i was just like inside i was just like something just clicked inside of me and I was like yes we are entering into the best months month of the whole year and today I feel like the weather has really showed up for vlogtober so welcome I'm really really excited for this month of daily vlogging and we've got so many fun little autumny things lined up so I hope you're excited as well I hope you're all well I've actually washed my hair today put a bit of makeup on I've got this cute little top on from tiktok shop i'm actually really in my tiktok shop era and i'm loving it like i spend so many evenings now just browsing on tiktok shop and i've treated myself to some new jumpers and some new bags last night so i'm excited for that order to arrive but honestly if you were like me and didn't really buy into the tiktok shop hype like in my head i was like i don't go on tiktok to shop like i know some people will still be like that and i don't really like solely go on tiktok to shop but honestly i feel like it's changed my life like if i need anything the first place i will look now is tiktok shop so new current obsession browsing on tiktok shop spending money on tiktok shop but the price is on there honestly unbelievable so yeah we've got some little autumny bags jumpers tops shoes arriving which i'm so excited about but today i'm getting ahead of myself because today we have got a fun little autumny thing lined up that I've actually been doing for the past couple of years and that is making a wreath for our front door and usually what I will do this is so unlike me like I'm not one for nature to be totally honest with you I hate insects I'm like an insect phobe like anything creepy crawly it makes me literally scream like I'm that annoying person that will literally scream and run away from a spider um and like mud not really into it like i like being inside as you probably know if you watch my videos i like being at home i like being cozy i like being with my blanket and my candles but what i do every year is i make an autumn wreath basically from like things that i find outside like twigs leaves acorns last year we put in it i did it with my mum last year we got some pine cones like i really got out of my comfort zone and i was a nature girly and i was on a work walk collecting bits for this autumn wreath and i actually was obsessed with it so i made a wreath basically for free like from things i literally found outside and that was going to be the plan but i'm not gonna lie i just don't fancy venturing out into this rain look at it outside like is screaming vlogtober which i'm happy about but what i'm thinking we do a little bit of a cop out but i'm thinking we literally pop into hobbycraft which is directly behind me and then we've got range over there because ray the range actually have like loads of really pretty dried flowers and stuff like that so i think i'm going to cop out and be a bit of a cheat this year but if you want to do one honestly it's such a fun thing to do me and my mum did it together we went went on like a huge nature walk you just need like twigs leaves it makes such like a rustic homey like country cottage type wreath and you can literally make it for free like you don't need to spend any money apart from obviously the base but you can actually pick them up from hobbycraft or amazon or something for literally two or three pounds so you could make a huge autumn wreath for nothing like if you went on a nature walk i don't know if it's if you're allowed to do that but I think it's really fun to do so yeah that's the plan of action we're going to make an autumn wreath for the front door because we're also going to go pumpkin picking at the weekend and we're going to decorate our front door and our porch and everything like that and i feel like i want a really big fluffy autumny brownie dried flowery wreath to go alongside the pumpkins and stuff so that's the plan of action today i think we're going to pop into hobbycraft first see if we can get our base and then we'll have a look and see if they've got any little bits in there i don't want to spend a fortune on it because if it's going to be outside i don't know if it's going to last that's the only thing saying that the one that i made this is a good thing if you like scrounge some bits from outside it usually lasts because it's like twigs and leaves and stuff so it's fine in the rain if you make it with dried flowers and stuff it might get a bit moldy when it gets wet but we'll see let's go into hobby graph i feel like that was the longest intro ever but welcome to vlogtober as i've said already probably three or four times i'm so excited to spend it with you and let's go and make a little autumn wreath these are like the little wreath bases that they've got in home 
Home Sense, no, Hobbycraft. These big ones are £6, so I think I'm going to grab one of those. I'm gutted because I think I threw mine away last year. I don't know why I did that. Um, but then they've got all of this stuff that you can put on them. These are two for £6 and they're like cute little pine cones. You've got like orange slices. I actually made these in the air fryer the other year, which was quite a good idea. Um, and then they've got these things which I quite like the look of. I might get some of them. They've got like little berries, apple slices, everything that you need to put on one really. I don't know what I'm going to pick up though. I don't know whether to do that. Two for six pounds. Oh my gosh, look at these little pumpkins. I think I'm going to get some like little white bits because I've got cinnamon sticks at home that I can put on there. There's like bark as well. I might get them and them. I don't know. I'm going to have a look. But I think two for six pounds is quite good for those. I think what I'm going to do actually is go to the range first and see what dried flowers and stuff they have to like actually make the wreath and then I can think about like the little bits that I want to put on top of like all the grass and stuff so I'm going to buy this base and then I'll probably be back but we'll see what we can find in the range I think I'm going to go for these two bunches I think these are an offer so they're only £3.99 down from £4.99 but I feel like these would be good on the wreath so I'm going to get two bunches of them for like the base I've just come into home bargains because I remembered last year they had wreath stuff for Christmas wreaths so I've just picked up some of these, they're one, 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 one twenty nine. So they've got the pine cones and then they've got like the orange slices and they've also got the wreath bases for one ninety nine, which was so much cheaper so I actually think I'm going to go back to Hobby Craft and take that wreath base back because I just paid like 8 quid for that and this is exactly the same so if you're looking to make your own wreath I'd definitely come and have a look in Home Bargains they've also got this little set which is good six pound i know it's christmasy stuff but it's got the pine cones and like the red ribbon at the base and then these little bits that you could obviously add on for christmas as well so it's definitely worth coming to look in here but i think i'm just going to get these now if you wanted to make a wreath come to home bargains literally everything you need is here and it's so much cheaper than what i've just paid in the range for like dry flowers and stuff so i've just stumbled across all of this and you get so much more. Like this is one ninety nine. You get a huge bunch. Like I think I just paid four pounds for each of those, which isn't too bad because you get a bit of everything. But then they've also got like these bunches up here. They've got these, which is really good for two ninety nine. You get these little things. I might pick up a pack of them as well. And then you've got like pampas grass. You've got these little things that you could poke into the wreath they've got loads here so i definitely come and look in home bargains first if you're wanting to do one as well i really like the color of this as well it's like a nice gray brownie clip so i might get some of that but that's 3.99 for that huge one i feel like that was a bit chaotic so just to fill you in on what we actually managed to pick up i initially went into um i keep wanting to say home sense what is it called um that angle is so funny um hobbycraft i went into hobbycraft initially because i thought that's where like the best bits would be obviously i know hobbycraft is a little bit more expensive but i just went in there first i bought the base because i didn't know there'd be any in any of the other shops here then i went to the range to get the bunches of dried flowers the range is good for dried flowers if you're looking for dried flowers for a wreath i'd definitely have a look in the range sorry and then i went i bought two bunches in the range and then i went to home ba home bargains because i remembered last minute that last year i remember with the christmas stuff that they had loads of like wreath things like you know like pine cones and like the little bits that you put on the top so i went in there all the christmas stuff is out obviously and i found some like pine cones i found a wreath base for like one pound and i just paid eight pounds in um nearly did it again in Hobbycraft. So I ended up buying the wreath base, some pine cones from Home Bargains. It was literally like two pounds something for the pine cones and the base. So I then luckily kept the receipt because I never do that. And I just returned the base to home. Oh my God, I'm annoying myself to Hobbycraft just to make things more confusing. So if you're wanting to make a wreath as well, the shops that I think are the best, I'd definitely look in Home Bargains first because they also had some like Christmas kits, I think I showed you that, that were like £5 for the wreath base and then like ribbon and stuff like that. So Hobbycraft is the more expensive bougie place. Um, 
obviously you can look online as well i'm pretty sure it would be cheaper to like order it as well um but the range is good for dried flowers they also had dried flowers in home bargains so there is some bits out if you wanted to do like a little last minute autumn wreath and then the good thing with this is you can like change it and add some bits to it to make it Christmassy as well. So it's like a two in one. I think that's what, did I do that last year? I think me and my mum made an autumn and a Christmas wreath separately to be fair. Because the Christmas one I made like with fresh leaves and stuff with greenery and that. And it actually lasted ages. Um, but if you wanted to do like a two in one, you could just go to the home bargains and they had like little Christmassy bits that I was tempted to get. But I feel like it would be too Christmassy to put it on there now. But anyway, I'm going to stop word vomiting. I've got some parcels that I need to drop off to the post office. It's still so rainy. I feel like it's always hair wash day that it's rainy like this. I literally had to just walk across the street. I was like, I am bringing my umbrella because it's hair wash day and I'm not getting it all fizzy. Fizzy? Frizzy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to drop the parcels back and then we can go home. Might even make a little hot chocolate and we can get our cute little autumn dried flower wreath made. <laughs> Right, I've just got back. No, she's not playing with me. Every time I get the camera out. <laughs> you know when the camera's out, don't you? I was trying to show you. I was trying to show you how cute you are. Why is she so camera shy? Okay. Every time you get the phone or the camera out, she literally just won't have any of it. She just walks away from you. <laughs> but this is the little wreath collection that we've got just making some lunch now i'm gonna have a chicken sausage bather i think and then i'm gonna get on with making it but i forgot to get another wreath hanger i was meant to get another did we have two of them yeah i think we've got two we've what? Got the other one's like gold isn't some it little is it yeah <coughs> i thought we got a two pack of the black <coughs> hangers i might have to order one on amazon but we did have two of these but I think it's at the back of this <laughs> which I'm not yeah, facing that. I'm not facing that right now so we might not hang it up today but as long as it's up before we get our little pumpkin stash out <laughs> yeah I thought we had two of those back ones Maybe, yeah. <laughs> she just moved again <laughs> Where is she? You can see it. What does she think's happening? Well, how do you know about the camera? She just knows about everything. She's looking up at you. And she won't eat anything in this bowl. <laughs> she actually doesn't. She's the biggest salad dodger ever. Any other food, she'll literally bite your hand off. But if you try and give her, have you got a bit? Yeah, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> She's just like her mommy. She won't even give it any. She licks it. Oh. No. See? Spits out. I thought she was going to go for that. Is she going to show us up? No. <laughs> I thought she was literally just going to chomp it down and make it <coughs> You can't have it. Well, you can. You don't want it. That's what he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> It is so dark and gloomy, so excuse the lighting. I've literally got all the lights on in the kitchen and this is as good as it's getting. But I'm just gonna make myself a little hot chocolate. I've wanted to try this for so long. It's what I picked up in HomeSense. I got the marshmallow swirl flavor, which is what we're going for. I've put it in my little next ghosty mug. And then I also got another flavor. This one is chocolate sea salt. And caramel. I'm regretting my decision now. I feel like that one would have been nicer. But we'll go with the marshmallow as well and see what that's like. It smells insane. I feel like these are gonna last forever. This was like five pounds, I think. And it's like you only need two teaspoons of it. So I'm just gonna warm some milk up. I'm still starving after my lunch, so I thought this would be a nice little sweet after my lunch to make to sit and make the wreath with. So I'm just gonna pop some milk in the microwave. Um but yeah, we've got everything that we need. We need to lay it out on the table. I just need to grab some scissors. But this is the string that I use. I bought this like probably two years ago now. 
I can't remember where I got it. I think it was like a little local shop to be fair. But it's really good for like tying things on. I try not to use like glue or anything. I just tie it on with this and then it's easy to take apart if I need to, like for Christmas and whatever. And I also found these little bits. I think this is actually pot puree. Um, yeah, it is, it smells nice. So I've got like orange slices and some cinnamon. So I thought that we could maybe put some of that in it as well. Um, but we'll see how we go with that. I don't know if I can tie, could I tie that on? I thought we could tie that on. But then we've also got obviously the pine cones we picked up, the base, these. I'm hoping that we're gonna have enough to fill it. I think what I'm gonna do on a day where it's not tipping it down is try and get some little extra bits just to fill it out a bit and i also love the way like it looks when you get like real leaves from outside because i did have a look in the range and they had like a few little bargain buckets with like things on sale for making wreaths autumn wreaths and there was like leaves there was like big leaves like a pack of leaves on sticks to push into a wreath but they just looked really like artificial and plasticky and fake and they were like really bright oranges and that's why i like making them myself because the wreath that you see in the shops that are made by like plastic faux flowers i just feel like sometimes they can look really tacky and i prefer like a muted natural you know like it literally looks like it's come from outside that's why i like um oh look at that that's why i like doing it with bits that you've actually found like in the woods and that because i just feel like it makes it look really nice and natural um so yeah i'm not a fan of like the plasticky bits but if that's your thing and obviously it'll last year after year if you do it like that they did have a few bits in the range like leaves and little bits like that, that you can make your own this smells insane look at this i've only put a little bit of milk in there but that looks really good it's been really like frothy on the top um but yeah let's get into it let's start making the wreath I'll show you how I do it and we'll see how we go. I feel like I'm about to host like Art Attack or Blue Peter or something. Sorry if you're wobbling around, I've just moved the table. But for anyone who doesn't know this, because I feel like there might be a few people watching this that don't know, but I actually had a florist business, a little small business selling dried flowers. I did like an online floristry course in lockdown and I wasn't like an expert. I didn't do any events. I didn't do wedding floristry or anything like that. Um, but I did actually work with these type of dried flowers. So I actually feel like, it, this feels quite nostalgic. This feels like I'm reminiscing on my little small business. And I loved it so much. And I actually got to the point of being full time with it. Like I quit my nine to five to do my flowers full time. So I actually feel like I'm living my life about three is it three years ago now it'd probably be about three years ago now three four years ago which is mad but yeah i'm just going to show you how i make my wreaths this isn't like this is just how i like to do it because i've kind of like learnt my own little way over the years of doing them i did actually used to sell wreaths in my business as well so this is how i used to do it for those as well so how many times do i want to say as well this hot chocolate by the way 10 out of 10 if you're thinking about getting it from TK Maxx or Home Sense, I'm always a little bit not icked out by the food in TK Maxx, but I've never actually bought any of like the food or drink in there. It kind of like scares me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. But this hot chocolate, 10 out of 10, it's going down really well. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do really is make loads of little bunches of flowers basically. Because all we're gonna do is tie the little mini bunches up and then you just position them like this around the wreath. So all that you really do is flower arranging but like on a tiny little scale in little mini bunches and then that's where this string comes in because you just tie each bunch together so i'm going to open up both packs of flowers i didn't end up getting those eucalyptus from home bargains just because when i was like holding everything together the colors didn't really go like the eucalyptus was a bit too gray greeny we have got a little bit in here but i don't know whether i'm going to use it yet I really just got these for like the browns and the bunny tails and stuff like that. Because when I was holding the, I don't even know if they, we'll see. I think they go. They're autumnal with the little browns and stuff. But yeah, the eucalyptus bunches and home bargains weren't really the right shade. So I did leave them. So we have just got the two bunches from the range, which I think will be okay. Because this base that I got 
is a little bit smaller than the one that I initially had from Hobbycraft. Nearly called it Home Fence again. I don't know if I call it Hobbycraft Home Fence. It's like two completely different words. But yeah, all I'm going to do, I'll show you the first one that I made. And then it's just going to be like repetition, which I always find really therapeutic doing stuff like this. Because it's just like your mind just switches off and this is all that you think about. Um, just spread these bunches of colour. So I'm going to try and make them like similar so that it's like the same all the way around if that makes sense. So the sort of size that I'll make, you literally only need a tiny bit of each piece which is why I think these are going to be fine because it will go such a long way. Okay, a little bit of that one. Let's just make a bunch of like everything that's in here. So we'll do a couple of bunny tails as well. God, this is so weird doing this. This is actually taking me back. So weird. Okay, a little bit more of this. That'll be like the filler. I kind of want to use the eucalyptus. Should we just use the eucalyptus anyway? I feel like it won't go exactly, but I feel like it might be nice to have some of that in there as well. That's still quite autumn, isn't it? should be using some I've got some here look at the state of these are these called sucker tits I should know that really shouldn't I I think they are sucker tits look how rusty they are they were my old little snippers that I used to use right this is gone a bit there we go all oh, that eucalyptus smells insane do you know what I've actually been looking at a couple of months ago I was looking at getting some eucalyptus because if you get dried eucalyptus like this and put it in your shower when you shower it like vaporizes and it's like essential like natural essential oils when you're in the shower and so like that would just be such a treat it'd be like really spa so yeah this is the type like sort of size that we want i think maybe a little bit bigger and then literally just repeat it one there one there one there and we go round and round so i'm going to get on with that i'll show you a little progress update in like half an hour or so when I've attached them. Or should I make them first? I'll probably make all of the bunches first, then attach them, and I'll show you how I get on. I'm so excited, I feel like this is gonna look really pretty. They look really nice together. Okay, so this is the progress so far. It's only taken me about 10, 15 minutes to do them, to be fair. Um, but what I do as well, which I forgot to mention, is leaving like a bit of string at either end, so that you can then use that to tie it onto the wreath, if that makes sense, just so you haven't got like loads of string. To cut off because after you've tied it on there then you trim the ends of it just so it's neater and um, so yeah when you're tying it make sure that you use a longer bit than what you need but i'm just going to sit now and position get my phone out of the way and position a few on so i'll tie that one like there and then tie that one like a bit further down and you can kind of see how that eventually when you work your way around makes a little wreath I love it so much. I love the colours on it. And I'm so glad that I did put the eucalyptus in. I'm nearly there, I'm like halfway there. And then I'm gonna add like the cute little sticks of cinnamon, the pine cones, and then we can put a ribbon on it. And I was gonna say, and hang it up, we don't have a hanger. I might sacrifice that one. I don't know, we'll see. Right, the base is finished. I've run out of dried flowers now, so this is as good as it's getting. I kind of run out of some of the cream ones this side, as you can probably tell. But I love it. How cute is that? It's very rustic. I need to just like go over it and just have a little bit of a play around and cut all the strings off and stuff. But I'm gonna add the pine cones on top now. I'm gonna try and tie them with the string. I know I should probably glue them down, but I don't know where the hot glue gun is and I'd rather just tie them. So I've got these and then I'm thinking of doing like a few little cinnamon sticks in there as well. I think that'll look really cute and just give it like a more of an autumn vibe. They smell insane as well. So I'm gonna tie that on and then we just need to find a ribbon. I think I've got some ribbon in that cupboard that absolute heap of a mess of a cupboard. So if I can be bothered to face that, I'll try and dig out a ribbon and then we can finish it off. But how cute, I love it. I'm so happy with it.
finished. How cute is that? Let me try and get into some light where you can see it properly. I've just added like the pine cones and the little cinnamon sticks. I love it. It's not perfect, but I think it's really cute. I think it's going to look so nice on our front door if I can find the wreath hanger. I think I'm going to order one on Amazon anyway. Um, but yeah, how cute. I don't think I'm going to add a ribbon. I think I'm just going to hook it from the back onto the header. Oh. But I think it looks so autumny. I love the colours as well. We've got a lot of this like eucalypts in the room actually, like on our um, garland that goes across the TV unit. Now. So it's like in keeping with our usual autumn colour scheme. But how cute! And that was so fun to make that. I've just got to tidy up. There's literally bits everywhere. This takes me back to when I was doing my little business in the garage. And I always had a broom to hand because it is so messy on the floor. Look, I've been trying to keep Vola out so she doesn't eat any bits off the floor. So yeah, I am going to tidy up this mess. I'm going to hoover all the little bits. And then I thought we could go upstairs. I'm going to take my makeup off and I thought we could do a bit of skincare and have a bit of a catch up and a chat about our holiday that we've just got back off. So yeah, I'm going to have a tidy up and then we can go do some pampering, some skincare, take this makeup off and yeah, we'll have a bit of a chat. This makeup has been on my face for far too long for my life and I still haven't unpacked my toiletries from our holiday. To be fair, there's only two little stragglers left in there. But I thought we could have a little bit of a catch up about our holiday because obviously I've not uploaded since then and I've had a few questions over on my TikTok about like where we went, how we found it and we had the best time. Honestly, to be fair, Sam's come back so so poorly blessed like he's got a really bad flu i felt a bit iffy yesterday but i've definitely not been as bad as what he is we definitely think he's like picked up some kind of blue or something on the plane which is just bound to happen i said as well because i think our immune systems are quite low because to be honest we're little hermits and like sam works from home most of the time Obviously, I work from home. We don't really see too many people regularly. Like, I don't know if it's, I guess, like when you're a parent and your kids go to school all the time or you're in like a job where you see loads of people every day. I think your immune system must like be a bit better than ours because as soon as we're exposed to like any sort of germs, get really poorly. So yeah, he's suffering really badly with plain flu, bless him. I'm just going to go and grab a claw grip, a claw grip to scrape my head back. It's like wild. Lola up and she's barking so if you can hear that that's them playing downstairs and um, but yeah anyway we went to Dubai as I mentioned I think I mentioned before we went that's where we were going and we stayed at the Atlantis which was so nice honestly we were looking for a holiday for like months probably weeks like it was a bit of a last minute thing but we knew we wanted to go away in September we just couldn't decide where we wanted to go and it was look at my hair and it was taking us so long to like research and plan and um we were initially we were initially looking at like Greece and Spain but it was just like extortionate for what we were getting and we decided that it wasn't really worthwhile for us so even though we've already been to Dubai we were just like let's just go back there because you know what you're getting I feel like you always like have a good time in Dubai like you know what you're getting it's just a safe option and we just wanted like a really chilled sunbathing holiday just to kind of like get ready for the winter months because we've both had a holiday separately with our friends which were like half the holidays like he went to Ibiza I went to Croatia with my girls and they were quite full on holidays and then obviously our last holiday together was America and we travelled around America for two weeks and that was like that was obviously insane but that wasn't what you'd class as like a relaxing recharging holiday like it was go 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 like internal flights traveling and everything else so we really just wanted like a chilled holiday us two so we booked into the Atlantis we did I think it was five nights six days five nights maybe I think um, and then our friends were out there at the same time as well, so we managed to see them for the first day, which was really good. We did the water park, um, and there's, if you haven't seen it, the Atlantis is basically this massive water park that we actually did for the day last time we went. 
and we loved it so much like we've both said that that was probably one of our favorite days that we've ever spent together because it's just so fun it's literally like you're a kid again so with the atlantis when you stay there you get unlimited access to the water park so we were literally there every single day and it was so fun obviously we were just sunbathing we did half board so we got breakfast and dinner included which was really handy because we could just stay at the hotel we didn't have to get taxis anywhere if you've been to dubai you'll know like the taxi situation the taxis are cheap and it's really easy to get a taxi but you literally have to get a taxi everywhere like anywhere you want to go you will have to get a taxi unless it's literally outside of your hotel so we were happy to just stay in the hotel and just chill there which is exactly what we did um i think on the on the last night it was we went to the Cheesecake Factory. We love the Cheesecake Factory, but I'm gonna be honest, I actually woke up in the middle of the night after we'd had that and was violently sick. And we're trying to like, I think it might have been that food. So I hope it's not gonna be one of those ones that just puts you off of ever eating it again. Um, but yeah, we had the best holiday, so much fun. But yeah, we're just recovering. Sam's just recovering now, bless him from his, plain flu but i would 100% recommend the atlantis if you haven't stayed there if you're thinking about it it was so good like honestly even like the buffet and everything like the food was incredible it wasn't just like your standard hotel buffet like it was really good like we really enjoyed it and we were there for the food like we wanted an eating holiday so the buffet was just incredible for that so yeah we, we had the best time and it just feels nice to just it is a shame that Sam's come back poorly because it was going to be nice to just come back feeling refreshed, like ready to go again. But it is what it is. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's still stopped on his cold and flu tablets, bless him. So I'm just going to take my makeup off now. What time is it? Let's do time check. It's three o'clock. I think I'm actually going to round this video up here just because I feel like we've got quite a lot of footage of making the wreath. And I want to get it edited and uploaded for the first of October. The plans for the rest of the month, we've got a little weekend away. We haven't yet booked it and confirmed where we're going, but me and Sam are going to do a cozy little staycation weekend away, which I'm so excited about. Obviously, we'll be bringing you along with us as well. We've got pumpkin picking. I'm not going to give everything away, but we've got some exciting things planned. And then we've got some cozy days out. My mum's going to come up. It's my mum's birthday. So we've got some fun little things planned for that. And yeah, we've just got a really cosy, autumn-y month ahead. And I'm just so excited to spend it with you. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode, the first vlog of many. And make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.